So now let's see how we can work around with blend modes inside of GIMP. So to do that, I'm going to go around and import out another image as a layer. So to do that, I'm going to go around onto file right here, and then I'm going to go around and click on open as layers. So once I do that, I'm going to go around and select out um, an image over here. So I'm just going to go around back onto my TTU drive right here, just like this. And let me just go around and scroll down. So here you can see that uh, it is loading out. And I'm just going to go around and scroll down until I found uh, find the DataTube logo right here. So you can see that I have um, this JPZ file right here. So I'm just going to go around and open this out. So I'm just going to go around and convert this. And there you go. So you can see that this is what you have. And then this has been brought in as a layer. So if I were to go around and move around, you can see that uh, right now this is opaque. You cannot see through it as you can see right here. But let's say what I want. Uh, uh, it to do is I want it to blend together. So now uh, in order to do that, you can go around onto mode right here. So you can see that this is the bottom layer and this is the top layer. And once you select out the top layer over here, you can see that normal is an option over here. So what you can do is you can select dissolve or something else and then choose how it actually blends. So for example, if you were to select color erase right here, you can see that it utilizes the color erase and then it blends it out with the bottom layer right here and makes out um, uh, makes it out transparent. Like for example, the white areas are more transparent while the black areas are more opaque as you can see right here. Similarly, you can simply go for erase and then what it does is it erases out the bottom layer right here. It simply merges it out together. Similarly, I'm going to go around over here, go for merge right here so you can see that uh, depending on the layer, there's different options and they're split over here as well. But let me just go to lighten right here. So once you go to lighten, what happens is that the dark parts of the image right here, like black becomes totally transparent as you can see right here. Uh, and here you can see red is uh, transparency, but white parts remains opaque. Similarly, you can go for Luma right here. And then what happens is that uh, the um, dark parts, um, uh, irrespective of color, becomes transparent. Then you can go for screen, which is simply another way of making the dark parts transparent. And you can select DAWs right here and addition over here as well. Apart from that, you can go for darken right here. And what happens is that the bright parts now become transparent and the dark parts right here blends in just like ink. You can go for Luma right here just like this and you can go for Multiply over here just like this as well. And you can go for Burn over here as well and it burns it out right here. So different ways to multiply out the colors. Then you can go for Linear Burn right here and you can overlay out everything as well so that the bright parts are, um, are opaque and the dark parts are transparent again. So similarly, there's different sort of blend modes that you can see that you can try it out like hard light. There's basically just a bit of transparency over here. Then there's vivid light, as you can see right here. There's spin light right here and um, um, linear light, hard mix right here and so forth. And there's different sort of blendings going on right here. You can go for difference, which brings out the negative colors. And you can go for exclusion, which is simply changes out how the negative colors goes out. Then you got subtract as you can see, and then you got green extract as well, just like this. And you have green mirrors over here, and then you can divide it out right here. You can go for hue as you can see, just like this. You can go for hue and saturation, um, hue, hue, saturation, luminance, color, and so forth. There's value and so forth right here. So there's different sort of blend modes that you can experiment with to make sure how it merges together. And finally, there's luminance that you can see right here. So let me just go around on to multiply in my case because I want to merge out these layers. And this is how it works. And that is how the blend mode modes work inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.